how I remember everything I read. You've seen this video title thrown around a lot lately by productivity gurus. The outcome is indeed possible, but the tips in those videos are impractical and most of all not science-backed. That's why today's book is written by three scientists and researchers. It's called Make It Stick. Many of us have been following the wrong map, using study tricks that don't really help, like reading the same thing many times or practicing the same skill too much. These old tricks come from all over, schools, coaches, even our families and friends. But guess what? The best ways to learn might surprise you. That's because this book is guided by real science, showing us how our brains really hold on to new information. In today's keynote knowledge, we're learning from the treasure trove of research by brain experts Henry Rodiger and Mark McDaniel, among others. They've spent 10 years unlocking secrets on how to make learning stick, and now we're sharing those secrets with you. This isn't just about acing a test, it's about really getting to grips with new stuff. Fully understand all what you learn. Really get what it's all about, so you can use it in all kinds of ways. Remembering every single thing, keep it in your brain, ready for when you need it next, or when you're ready to take it to the next level. Ready to learn how to learn? First, you need to know how your brain learns. When you learn something new, your brain does a few cool things. Making memory notes. It's like your brain writes down notes in a special notebook. This helps you remember new stuff for a little while. Then, your brain goes over your notes, fills in any missing parts, and ties it to stuff you already know. This takes some time, and sleeping helps make it stick better. It's like writing a rough draft of an essay, fixing it up, and then making it really good after a break. The goal is to use what you've learned when you need it, like solving a problem or speaking another language. You get better at this by practicing and connecting new stuff to things you already know. Every time you practice, it's like adding a reminder so you can remember it easier later. Your brain is super good at learning new things all your life. It's built to evolve and get better at things. Your brain cells connect to each other like dots. The more you practice something, the stronger and faster these connections become. For example, basketball players can dribble super fast without even thinking about it because they've practiced so much. Your brain can even make new cells and get even better at learning and remembering things. Making connections between different things you learn can help your brain grow new cells. Now, let's talk about making learning easier and remembering things longer. First, you need to understand what you're learning fully. Step 1. Learn the rules remembering facts isn't enough. If you only memorize what you read or hear, you won't really get it. It's better to find the big rules that are behind all the examples. These rules help you figure things out in real life. Some people are good at seeing the big ideas, they're called rule learners. Others remember specific things they see or hear, but they have a hard time using them in new ways. They are example learners how to get better. If you're an example learner, look at lots of examples together to spot what they have in common. This helps you see the big rules. Second step, connect the dots. Once you know the rules, link them with things you already know. This makes everything make more sense and helps you remember better. After that, you build mental models. This means putting together all the things you're learning so they fit into one big picture in your mind. It's like learning to drive. At first, you think about every little step, but then it all comes together and you can drive without thinking about each thing. Using what you learn in new ways. The more you use what you learn in new and different situations, the better you get at it. This is like learning to drive different vehicles. You get better because you're practicing the big picture, not just one thing. Want to become an expert? Experts, like musicians or athletes, practice a lot. They have a mental model for almost any situation which lets them do well without having to think about it too much. So, to really understand and remember new things, don't just memorize. Look for the big rules, connect them to what you know, and practice putting it all together. Now that you can comprehend what you learn, comes the part where you make it stick. The best way to do that is through something called retrieval practice. This means trying to remember what you've learned by testing yourself in different ways, like quizzes or making your own flashcards. But why just reading over notes doesn't work well? It takes too much time. You could use better methods than just reading your notes over and over. It doesn't stick long term. You might remember things for a test tomorrow, but you'll forget a lot of it later. It makes you think you know it better than you do. Reading your notes a lot makes you familiar with the words, but doesn't mean you really understand the ideas behind them. So, here's how to make sure you really remember. Make it a challenge. The harder it is to remember something, the better you'll actually remember it. You can challenge yourself by trying to answer questions without looking at the answers right away or waiting a bit before you try to recall something. Test yourself often. Taking tests or quizzes right after learning something and then doing it again a few times later helps you remember better and for longer. Learn from mistakes. When you get something wrong, finding out the right answer helps make sure you remember it next time. Waiting a bit before checking the answer can help even more. Two good ways to remember more. 
Reflect. After you learn something, think about what you learned, how you can use it, and how it connects to things you already know. This helps make your memory stronger. Take quizzes in class or while studying. Regular small quizzes help a lot. They make you remember better, help you understand what you need to study more, and can even make tests less scary because you get used to them. So, by challenging yourself to remember, testing often, and using your mistakes to learn, you'll keep what you learn in your head much better. But here's another logical question. How to know what you really know. Understanding what you know and what you need to work on is key to learning, but people often have a hard time judging their own skills and knowledge, which can slow down learning. We misjudge our abilities because of tricky perceptions. Sometimes what we see or hear can fool us, like when pilots think they're flying straight, but they're not. Thinking shortcuts. Our brains take shortcuts that can lead us to make wrong guesses, like following the crowd because everyone else does. Loving stories too much. We love stories that make sense of things even if they're not true, which can make us misunderstand situations. Remembering things wrong. Sometimes we remember things that didn't happen or remember them differently. Sticking to old ways. We might stick to a familiar way of doing things even when a new way is needed. And finally, not knowing we don't know. Sometimes we think we're better at something than we really are. Here's how you can get better at judging your skills. Learn with experts. Working with someone who's really good can help you see where you need to improve. Learn together. Learning with friends can help you catch mistakes you might not notice on your own. Get feedback. Hearing from others about how you're doing can help you get better. Practice as a team. Working with others lets you learn from their strengths and see where you might be falling short. Try real-life practice. Practicing in situations like what you'll face in real life is the best way to see what you really know. Careful though, don't let learning myths hold you back. Two things you need to know. One, learning styles aren't everything. You can learn in many ways, not just the way you like best. Matching the way you learn to what you're learning is more important. Two, intelligence can grow. Your brain can get better at learning new things if you work at it. The book also provides some actionable tips for better learning. My favorites are, think growth. Believe that you can get smarter by trying hard and learning from mistakes. Practice on purpose. Keep pushing yourself to try new things and solve hard problems. Remember with tricks. Use memory aids to help you keep track of what you learn. Ask questions. Regularly check if you understand by asking yourself questions. Quiz yourself. Keep testing yourself on what you've learned. And mix it up. Study different things in one session to help your brain keep track of it all. Remember, by understanding how to judge your skills accurately and using smart strategies for learning, you can get better at anything you set your mind to. That's how I'm able to learn everything in these books and summarize them for you guys in a couple of minutes. So, if you want to support the mission of the channel, just subscribe and share the knowledge with someone you want to see succeed. Until next time.